Hi, I'm Judy Umlis, founder of the Center for Grateful Leadership and Senior Vice President at the International Institute for Learning. I've done numerous podcasts and uh, videos about the power of stories. And one of my favorite stories of my career is what I call the story of the blue jacket. Now this blue jacket had a very special role in a presentation that I was making as part of International Project Management Day several years ago. And um, I came to IIL, to IIL Media, and it was a hot August day, and I was really huffing and puffing. And I was wearing this blouse, and this, I mean, I'm wearing a necklace and earrings, but it was, it's a beach blouse. My husband got it for me for my birthday, and you know, I love it, and I wear it rather often around home. And uh, anyway, so I wore it to the studio, but I was carrying a very sleek, nice, professional looking gray suit. I had some nice jewelry. I get to the studio and the producer looks at what I'm gonna wear and, and she says, you have anything else? I said, no, that's all I brought. She said, that's so dull. It's gonna look like just gray on camera. And I said, I don't have anything. She said, what about that blouse you came in with, you were wearing? I said, that's a beach blouse. She said, that's okay. It's uh, beautiful colors. And I said, I know, but I couldn't wear that. Just that and my skirt. And she said, try it. So I tried it on. And it, while I had it on, all of a sudden, this woman came into the studio. She had finished taping just before me. It was somebody had been wanting to meet and she'd been wanting to meet me for the past year. Her name was Patrice Hall and she's a leadership coach and she introduced herself and she was really dressed very nicely. She was wearing a beautiful turquoise blue jacket. And I saw her and I said, hi Patrice, we shook hands. Lovely to meet you. Can I borrow your blue jacket? <laughs> and she looked at me, she paused for a second and she said, no. I went, no? Please, uh, I said, I'll, I'll, I'll get it dry cleaned immediately afterwards. You'll have it back in two days. And she said, no, I bought this jacket knowing I was going to wear it once, which I did for this taping, and that I was then going to give it to somebody who was deserving, who wanted it, and who needed it. And I said, that's me. I would have said anything at that point. I said, can I borrow it? And she, no, no, it's yours. I said, all right, and I put it on, and I just wish I could show you this jacket. It, this was the perfect colors, but um, oh my goodness, my granddaughter who is filming me just produced the blue jacket. And you will see what I meant about it being perfect. Oh my gosh. So it was, per look at these colors, turquoise blue, turquoise blue and I felt finished. I felt like I had a corporate image and I could do my 45 minute presentation for International Project Management Day. I think it was called From Cowardly Lion to Lion-Hearted Leader. And I felt probably the best I've ever felt on camera with this jacket and yes, my little beach blouse and my jewelry. And uh, I was told I did a very good job. So as soon as the presentation was over and Patrice had left, I got it dry cleaned and I didn't realize I didn't have her address. And I, I just called her and I thanked her so much. I said, I need your address. I'm sending it back. It's been dry cleaned. She said, no, I meant it. You are to keep that jacket. And we both agreed that it was a really dramatic moment of synchronicity. I had a need and the solution appeared. Now to me, synchronicity is a sign that we're on the right path. When something like that happens, we just know that we're doing something we're supposed to be doing. That's how I interpret it. And I have worn this, some, they had to tell me to stop wearing this jacket. I wore it too many times, <laughs> but I just love it. And I feel like it's a gift and um, a very special kind of gift that was from a very generous person who had a message and who understood mine 
And uh, I, I'm so grateful to Patrice and to all the people who watched my presentations and who still do. And uh, today I want to also congratulate the Center for Grateful Leadership. Today is its sixth birthday. And why is its birthday June 14th? Well, if the truth be told, it's my birthday. And that's the only way I knew I would remember the date that the Center for Grateful Leadership was founded under the auspices and the, with the wonderful support of the International Institute for Learning. And we're doing great things out there. And thank you for watching this video. Please feel free to share it. And I wanna thank my granddaughter Lilith for being a wonderful producer. She produced, she told me where to sit and how to, you know, what the background could be and how to look the way I, what I needed to look for my channel. And I think she said she might be showing this video on her YouTube channel. Is that right? You could say a word or two if you want to. I'm going to put the link. The link because you're going to say. At least I'll try. She's going to try. That's Lilith. And uh, she, she, you want to come back here just so you can say hello to the audience. This is my darling granddaughter. And uh, she edits my videos if I need. If I, if I do something awful, she'll take it out. She's a great editor. She's got a great eye. She's got her own channel, her own videos. And uh, I'm a very, very lucky person. So thank you for listening. And please remember to acknowledge someone or many someones each and every day. And let's all be as generous as Patrice was and uh, know that we can make a huge difference to the people around us just through the power of acknowledgement and grateful leadership. Have a great day.